Hello, my name's Mary Jo Volpe. I was a librarian for at least eight years. I'm now retired, and I have written in my retirement time a book called Remarkable Women of Stockton, and I'm working on another book. The library I use is the Western Ranch Library, and I was able to find a great many things at this library. What is interesting about libraries is not the fact that they appeal to children and they appeal to readers and they appeal to teenagers. Libraries are also excellent for the historian. In this sense, they're also extremely important for children and young adults with projects for school. One of the two things that I appreciate about the uh, public library are the service uh, Link Plus and Interlibrary Loan. Link Plus, if you don't find the book in the catalog, it offers you to go to Link Plus right on the catalog and you can put in and see if the book is there. I ordered many books through Link Plus for this project and for the other projects I'm working on. If that doesn't work, for a measly $5, you can fill out an interlibrary loan card and the book will come to you nine times out of ten if, if it's in print. Uh, most of the other uh, resources, let's say, are at our main branch, Chavez Branch. That's not far away from Western Ranch. It's only about ten minutes. Most exceptional is what they call the California file which is behind the reference desk. And that is good for um, periodicals, old periodicals, mentions of people that are historic in Stockton, people and things. This California file is rich in information. Absolutely fantastic are the death index and the newspaper index, both from the Stockton record. Um, they are available through a librarian. You, they won't let you back there to paw through those files. They're, they're, um, they're set up in the workroom. And what you need to do is you need to ask the librarian. Very easy. That's why they're there. They want to find this stuff for you. That's where I found so, uh, so much information about women of Stockton. Then you go down to the storage area with your information, and there are a whole bank of um, microfilm machines. That's also where you can find past issues on microfilm of newspapers that go back to Stockton, I would say through, well, 1860, 1870, they start. Then um, it really heats up in the 1890s. You get both the independent and the record. So you can find almost everything um, locally in the newspaper index or just by going through those old microfilms if you have an idea of where you're going. The local history section also contains two very important files that people forget about. And they are what you used to call, we used to call vertical files, just because they're so vertical. And, um, except they always looked horizontal <laughs> to me. One is on uh, Stockton, and one is on San Joaquin County. They include biographies, businesses, and the like. So you can find a real treasure trove there. The, uh, let's see, computer access. Okay, you've got all your information, but you don't have a computer. For the price of a library card, that's free. The library card is always free. You can get on a computer for an hour a day. Now, you can do your research on a computer. You can, you can go into um, uh, whatever server they have there and do research. You can also then transfer that over, and actually write your paper there. It's kind of a one-stop shop. You can do it pretty well. Ideally, you have a computer at home. But if you don't, 
don't feel bad because you're going to you know be able to, to use one at the library. The um, library card also entitles you to another good service. It lets you get on a database called Ancestry Library Edition. Now, let's say you've done, you've found all that you can find out of a certain person, uh, but you're still confused about where they were and what they were doing in Stockholm or even back in Baltimore today. You can go on Ancestry Edition and they have the census, they have all sorts of databases in Ancestry that will help you. You do have to go to the library to use this product because it's expensive. The libraries don't get these uh, computer programs um, for free. They have to pay for every one of them. So it's a great, it's a great help. I researched my whole family uh, on breaks and, uh, and lunch times on the uh, Ancestry uh, uh, program. And never forget, as my friend Suzanne, who is also a librarian, says, the downloadable ebooks. You can always get downloadable ebooks. I've never downloaded an ebook, but that just because I'm back in the 20th century doesn't mean that other people don't want to. They're, it's a great convenience. So, as you can see, it's a real fantastic way to learn more about your community if you're interested in that or about other people throughout the nation. As I say, you can order books, you can go on the computer, you can pretty much find what you want. And if you can't find it at the library, a wonderful librarian will refer you to a place where you can find it. Okay, so the expert help comes from the librarians and they'll be happy if they can't find it for you at the Stockton San Joaquin Public Library System, they will refer you to the Hogan Museum, to the um, Stockton, uh, Bank of Stockton Archives, University of the Pacific, and out of Mickey Grove's, um, Mickey Grove Historical Society. So, you'll also find other wonderful librarians at those places. Good luck with your research, and remember, if you have a question, ask a librarian. They've heard them all.